this is Jumbo Gaming. We will see today how game objects move on Game Maker Studio. For that, open the studio first. Create a new project for that. Name it and um, set the game directory browse. For now, let's save the game name as Move Object Tutorial. Yes, exactly like that. I have also changed my game directory file. Now click create. Create a spirit and name it. Uh, sorry, and draw it however you like. Now create a game object, name it obj player and set the spirit that we draw before on here from here and the object color will be like that picture spirit. You know game maker is easy to use. You can uh, what you can call to move objects on a game. Uh, basically arrow keys are used on the game maker studio you can see the creep press buttons set the left right up down arrow keys from the key press events as I am doing it is the left arrow button of the keyboard to move it on the left side let's click on the left arrow and set the speed on 5 on every arrow keys we will set the speed on 5 and click on the right direction where it will be moved oh, also drag that thing from the move to the actions That is done and now we need to create a room for the gaming background. No matter with the naming of the room but I have named it as game room. You don't need to name this but if you want you can give any kind of name for it. Let's run and it's coming. You can see the player can move around the room by pressing the key buttons but it's still moving when also it's released the keyboard key. After releasing a key, we need to make the game object stop moving. For that we need to create some events. That is if key released. On here, if a key released, the player would stop moving. On clicking the between of the arrow, arrow symbols, it will stop moving. Set the speed on 0, no need to improve the speed. For all key release buttons, the same. And now run, and it's coming. And you can see when the key released, the player stops moving. It's all right now, but if you want to control this by clicking the input keys in by using the scripts, you first delete this events first. Now, after that, a create event and the state event needed.
from the controls find the console button and drag it on the actions window of both of create and the step event we will write a thing on the create event right as i am writing on the create event from here we are creating two variables input x equals 0 and input y equals 0 remember as we are creating this on the create event so this variables will also be created when the game object will get created on the game window you would know that these are scripting this is step event the every values you will write on this step event will be get applied on the game after every 0.3 milliseconds now watch this it is saying that input x will equals to keyboard check pk right so it means that if the right button is pressed so input x will equals to 1 i mean the right key will value the input x as 1 to make the game object moving by pressing the left right up down keyboard arrow keys um, i am writing a script right now for that i have set the right pk keys on the script right as i am writing to make the game object moving by pressing the arrow keys if input x equals to 0 input x will equals to 0 when the keyboard right is not pressed or the left also not pressed and oh sorry input x will equals to 1 i will solve it later if input x equals 1 so x exists will get updated mm, get bigger equals input x into 5 input x multiplied by 5 we know input x will get in equals to 1 so input x multiplied by 5 means 1 in multiplied by 5 so 1 multiplied by 5 equals to 5 so x will get bigger updated equals to 5 input means um, input x into 5 equals 5 get updated 5 in simple way so x will get bigger by 5 and as we tell about y the same just update the up and down button as i am doing now let's test it by clicking f5 on the play button Oh no, what's the problem? Up and left button is not working. Uh, wait for a second. I think I will think about that. Then we can see what is going on. Oh, aha, a solution. I have found a solution. The thing we have tried before will not work. Please try this again as you see in the window. And also pause and rewrite this too.
you have saw that we have written two new variables those are input x1 and input x2 and we have set them on the step event now you can see the problem is solved and the game object is moving around the room very greatly but it can also move outside of the room now to solve that follow me N move to the step event now we need to clamp them clamp both x and y axis the way of to clamping them is um, right x equals clamp bracket x comma it is minimum into zero com and comma space then room wise so it the x position will always get clamped from the zero position zero position to the room wise position and it will not go outside of this white and also by clamping the y position from the up and down it is from the up and down clamping that it will not go to the up and down right zero comma mm, room highest to the y what's on the red marked position it is the y axis from up to down that we write on the write it on the script before when the mouse is moving from up to down you can see the y axis is always increasing the y calculates how much down is the mouse position from the up and the x calculates how much right in is the mouse position from the left side and another red mark position that i am changing the number of values on 32 to 14 and other numbers these are extra for the graph chart that will actually get let it more bigger um, the graph line. and you don't need to change that reset that and test the game now i am pressing the up key but the game object can't move more up than the zero position on the y axis i mean up to down side i mean the game object can't now move out of the whole room now and not also on the left down right sides also okay skype that now change the <coughs> the mark position from 5 to 10 now test the game you can see that the change number was the speed of the game object means how much speedily it will move from to up down right left side for easily set a changed speed for mm, the game object let first let, first let create the game maker studio a new variable sl <coughs> which will equals to 5 now open the console from the step event and set the sl to the 10 numbers as i have done and finally we have successfully made it the game object moving around the room freely with the scripts Thanks guys for watching this video, if you have any questions, question them on the comment and if you find this video helpful for you, so please like this video, thanks for every guys, it's Zumo Gaming.